is it on? Oh, good. Okay, it's working. It's hard to know with this old technology sometimes. Welcome to Ode to a Moon, a very, very beautiful looking little horror game. Well, is it horror? I don't know. Let's find out, shall we? The visuals are very pretty, the colors are lovely, and it has this really sweet little TV effect going on in it. So let's get in and play. Whoa. Blade Runner VHS. Now, a VHS is what mommy and daddy used to watch all of their pop culture on. Man, this is fantastic. Ah, there it is. I literally only wanted to play this because of a gif I saw showing some of the visuals. I'm sure the game is great, but the visuals alone really sold me on it. Music by Hello Meteor. Not to be confused with music by Hello Kitty. Color Fiction. I'll keep an eye on you, Color Fiction. Manhattan. October 1986. Your boy wasn't even born by then. Oh man, look at this! Holy shit! See, games don't have to be hyper realistic. You can have an extremely stylistic game. A and click? What? Um, some pouring all night. I should quit at some point. Need to unpack later. And go to sleep. Fun night. I don't know. Oh man, there's music! Notes from yesterday's meeting. One, take. 425 train to Ashfield. Uh, document the eclipse from a scenic vantage point. Okay, so Ode to a Moon, it's an eclipse story. The old Fairview Castle might be a good spot. Three interview first selectmen about the history behind Ashfield's Ode to a Moon Festival and this year's concurrence with the Eclipse. Fair enough. Everything half box, and there you are. Uh, excuse me? 2 11 p.m. Man, I am short. <laughs> in the game, in real life, I'm super tall. Glad I watched these before leaving. Love how you having a view and tons of sun. Last place was a dungeon. Wait, okay, can I sit? Oh, B and A is in a controller. I thought you meant like A on my keyboard. And I was like, but that's to turn left. Strafe left. Nope, late as I am, there's no time for a nap. Oh, I got to go outside now. What the fuck? What was that? <laughs> I was literally saying that. I wasn't reading the subtitles. That was just me exclaiming. Oh man, this is cool. Hello everybody, it's me, a tiny child. Jeez, I am in love with this aesthetic. There it is. Look at that full moon. If my timing is correct, I'll get to the summit right as the eclipse starts. But it's 8 p.m., isn't it? Oh man, this is cool. This looks so good. Uh, what? <laughs> Am I in like a dimensional rift? What is happening? I'm assuming I'm trying to go that way, but... Shit, I better stay away. And the atmosphere, I, this game is drenched in it. There's a bird following me, apparently. For some reason, I'm getting like Stephen King vibes from this. 
Is that the train leaving? Wait, what's that showing up? Gosh, that was scary. Oh, <laughs> it was. Shit my pants a little. Whoa. Nature at nighttime outside is very loud. Look at the colors. Am I still going the right way? Oh, this looks important. Yes! Come on, man! Wait, how can we see an eclipse at night time? Is it a lunar eclipse then? It's not a total solar eclipse. Damn, this is- this- Whoa! Are we in like Colorado or something? This does not seem like a safe place to be. Baby, it's like a giant eye blinking. Whoa! Holy crap! That looks amazing. Oh, the walls are crawling. Don't you hate when that happens? You're trying to be out here looking at an eclipse and then the walls start crawling and floating all around you? <laughs> I feel like I'm being birthed. Oh, Jesus. Did the moon explode? What the hell is happening? What the hap is Helening? Oh, we're going up. We're going up into the torment. <laughs> chunks of castle or chunks of moon? You decide. I like to think chunks of moon. Is this completely disorienting to watch? Because it's completely disorienting to play. Okay, who spiked my drink? What did I just play? What just happened to me? Did I die? That was so bizarre. I have no idea what that game was about. I have no idea what I was doing. I had no idea where I was going. But I loved every second of it. I would love an entire game that looks like that. Not just like a little demo, not just like a little short story piece or whatever. But just an entire game. I don't know who was at the door at the end. Maybe it was my dad. Maybe it was me heading out for a night of partying. I don't know. Overall, that was phenomenal and I'm really glad I played it. Welcome to the tube. Now, not the British London Underground system, and not my tube, YouTube. Welcome to YouTube. You're on this platform right now. This is a horror game called Tube. Um, I, it kind of reminds me of Vanish, actually. WASD to move, shift to sprint, left mouse button shoot, R to reload, and E to use. Okay, simple. Simple pimple. On, oh yeah! Give me that bad boy! Press E to use. Holy donut! <laughs> we have a Jesus... ...thing. What did I just eat? It looked like a wet sock filled with meat. That's what most humans actually look like. Okay, I can't aim down sights or anything. Ooh. I'm glad I'm in the sewers. I'm glad I'm in the garbage. Where I belong. I should never be let above the surface. I should always have to stay down here, among the filth. I don't know what the plot of this is. And I don't know why I keep getting holy donuts, because this... is not a donut! Is that a wet, soggy, disgusting sewer donut? Did I just pick up a soggy sewer donut? Is that what I'm eating? 
That's fucking gross, man. Maybe it's just like a Slenderman situation. Instead of collecting eight pagers, I have to collect a venereal disease. Oh, sweet oh. God. Oh, you sound like you're gonna throw up your entire lunch. And we eat chicken piccata. What the fuck? Did he just materialize? He's got a giant cleaver! Oh, Sparky, I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. All right. Butthole, meet shotgun! Ha-ha! Jeez, he's swinging like a madman. I'll have you know, I play Apex. Oh god, oh god, I can't do anything! He's much faster in the goop than I am! Ah! I can't, I can't, I can't, I can! Okay, just keep reloading. All you have to do is go to the side. Ah! Jesus! He's so close! Oh god! Uh, what are you? I think I'm eating pieces of you as I go along. I don't like this game. <laughs> this game's gonna make me throw up. <laughs> I want. Uh, I want to do it. Uh, I want to do it. <laughs> oh, another one. Okay. I'm just gonna get as many shots into you as I can right now. I am Gonzo! Gone with the wind! Gorgonzola cheese! Oh god. Oh god. Oh, look at him go! You look like something that would come out of my ass after Mexican food. Shit! Is what I'm saying. He looks like shit. Thankfully, I've had 11 sewer donuts by now. So. Anything you could do to me on the outside is nothing compared to the damage I've done to my insides already. <laughs> it's a real, it's a real treat going on down there. Okay, okay, maybe we can snake this one. Why does the water keep going up and down? People just flushing their toilets all at once. Where does the water go down? If it will go down. Okay, screw it. Just start shooting. Shoot first, ask questions later. Okay, I am out. I am out. I am out. Ah, he's right behind me! Ah! Oh, son of a bitch. How many does it take? I'm not keeping count. I really should start keeping count. Okay, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. So it takes like nine to kill them. All right, just sprint. Just sprint. I shut off the light like an idiot. Okay, get a couple in. Okay, he's not chasing you anymore. Haha! -ha. I have it down to a fine science. Oh god! Okay. It takes many more shots to kill this guy because I probably missed him with all the first ones. I had to put more bullets in him than I put burgers in my own body over the years. And that's a lot of bullets. I need a holy donut. I need a holy soggy boy. I need a soggy slopster. Just a real wet one. Just a real gross... liquid shit filled donut. <laughs> oh god, there's two of them. There's two of them. Uh oh. Okay. Okay, now is the time for the runsies. Do what your bowels had been doing all along! The runs! Fuck, he's fast! Fuck, he's fast! No! Do I have to start over? Oh, you motherfucker! I am a sewer baby. You are a sewer baby. We're all sewer babies. Sewer, 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 sewer babies! Welcome to the Sewer Baby Club. There's sewer of us than last time. <laughs> it was supposed to sound like fewer. Didn't really sound like fewer, did it? Sewer and fewer. Similar sounds, but different starts. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, give it to me. What if I'm just a plumber? What if this is like intense Mario? He's actually doing his plumbing job for the first time, which is ridding the pipes of the grossness. This is all of your filth. All the shit that you're putting down the system every day, this is what it looks like. This is what the sewers look like. A 
people like me gotta go down into it and clean it up. We gotta clean up the shit of the tube. The YouTube. One dirty game at a time. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Run, run, run. I can't run fast because of the poopy water. Don't get hit. Don't get hit. Don't get hit. Yes. Yes. Escape. Ah! You were much closer than I thought you were. Okay. Oh, God. Why are there gotta be two big men? Oh, why are there gotta be two shitty boys? I am the biggest shittiest boy of all. Run! Use those tiny little shit stompers. Yes. 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 Now reload. Down you go, like a sack of spuds. While you guys were off mastering your craft, I was busy mastering the tube. The tube! Okay. 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 I'm out. Bye! Bye! Okay. Reload, 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 reload. Ah! No! <sighs> I think it doesn't take that many to kill them. But they sure are scary. Man, this game is like Vanish. I think I just have to find the exit based on this shit. Oh, Jesus Christ. There's two coming from there. Oh, man. What the fuck am I supposed to do? Well, this could be it for. That's it for me, Tonto. Damn it, man. How did I end up in this sewer? Why is this my job? Who am I? <laughs> this game's starting to smell. You smell that? It's starting to stink in here. Yeah. <laughs> oh. God. Ugh. Sorry. I think I got a- I think I caught something from that game. Nice legs! <laughs> what are we running from? Nope, never mind, we're flying now. <laughs> what is happening? Alright. Not gonna lie. You have my attention. Ah. Laugh! You didn't say laugh at me? <laughs> <laughs> Hired this lady. The new stunt team is in. Hell yeah! <laughs> the bird's into it. The bird knows how to party. Get up, Karen. It's time to go kill some bitches. Oh hell yeah! Oh hell no! She fell over again. She's just falling on her ass all the time. God damn it, Karen! My inner demon. All right, I'm so into it. I'm so invested. This music? Hell yeah. Uh. What what happened? Where am I? I don't know. Oh, you killed someone. Oh god. A dead man. You don't know that. He could be sleeping. Journal entry J. Okay. I woke up in this strange place. I have no idea who I am or where this is. I feel weirdly calm. I will look around and see if I can find any clues as to what is going on. But first, let me journal everything first. My first instinct is to journal what's happening. Hmm. Okay. That's how I usually react to a knife and a dead body. Hmm. You're not getting the best of me. I wonder who it belongs to. 12th of September, 1980. I have arrived at Mountain View. I can see where the name comes from. The mountains and trees surrounding the town gives it a picturesque look. Okay, can you calm down? I have a ground apartment at the Bellgate Building. It has so much character and history. The other tenants, specifically David, are very friendly and helpful. I was moved in a jiffy. That's a fraction of a second, by the way. Not that I had many belongings with me, 
I quickly found space for them among my Aunt Sally's stuff. Anna invited me over for dinner. I hope she will be my first friend here. Okay. She could a be. man with bad luck called John lived here. Hearing his tale will give you a tear. This apartment was his mom's before violence turned her into bloody gore. I definitely took some drugs in the other games. I definitely have a disease. Last month, he lost his wife, house, and job. He sold his mom's old stuff with a sob. Mom's life insurance gave him some hope, but bad luck showed him he was a dope. <laughs> showed him he was dope. He was sick. Please, find that precious piece of paper, else you too will die from the vapor. The paper is the source of his soul. Find it, and you will have reached your goal. Find John's life insurance. Got it. You're just not gonna question why there's a talking crow? A strange crow started talking to me. Crazy, I know. I'm not gonna exclaim it out loud, I'm just gonna write it down. My journal is the most important part of my life. He told me about John and how I must find his mom's life insurance. <laughs> the plot of this game is amazing. I love this. Okay. But also, who am I? And why am I here? And who who also now, this? What can be in here? I know, open it. Nothing. It's an anime drawing. What do you mean nothing? There's plenty of stuff in here. I need some Russian stuff. Let's get rid of some of these bottles. <laughs> you didn't get rid of them, you just moved them! Gotcha! Oh, Jesus. Crow, I got the life insurance! You're not gonna talk in rhymes again, are you? Poor guy. His mom must have died horrendously. How do you know? Oh, Jesus! <laughs> Oh, this stinks. Yeah, you're breathing in paint vapor, Karen. I like how the T is crossed off on it and it just says pain. <laughs> it's not actually paint, it's just a can of pain. I, I knew I shouldn't have opened it. I did it, Crowley. Oh. What, what happened? I teleported? Oh my god. It's- it's way past my bedtime! Damn. Another dead body? You're shit out of luck there, Karen. I teleported after finding John's insurance. I cannot believe it. It feels so strange. Looking through the windows, it is all dark. I can see some buildings, trees, and rocks. Oh man. I'm getting the shaky shakes. Sarah was a really lucky girl. She received good news, which made her twirl. The lottery gave her some money, just enough to keep her days sunny. Wow. She wanted to help her good friend John. He fell again for another con, buying crates of shady bottles of wine. Drinking one made her feel not so fine. Okay, first of all, <laughs> buying crates of shady bottles wine, shouldn't it be bottled? Drinking one made her not feel so fine. But you said it a different- whatever. She hid her cash in a secret place. Find her stash. Bring a smile to her face. In that way, you have saved her soul. There's more to the story. More of fun. Oh no, did you guys think that soul rhymed with a fool? So you, you wrote a, a word that looks like it should rhyme, but it does not sound like it rhymes at all in real life. Find Sarah's stash. Got it. You know what, I'm gonna give you the benefit of the doubt and assume that English is not your first language, so I shouldn't be too harsh on you. This time, I am looking for Sarah's stash. I cannot refuse, otherwise I will be stuck in this apartment for a very long time. How do you know that? There's Sarah's stash, it's a shit ton of money. Take that. Buy yourself a nice life. Sarah died doing what she loved. Uh, drinking herself to death, and that's about it. Okay, what can I click on? I need, I need a key. I need a key. Okay. I hope it is more interesting than the last one. The last one was super interesting! This building is foggy, damp, and dark. It's probably from all the pain that I've been releasing into the building. 
It needs repairs, which are starting to become extensive and is beginning to eat up my savings. The saving grace of this place is the view and the area of the place in my face. Dinner at Anna's was awkward. She doesn't say much and I had to carry the whole conversation. She seems quite naive. The weather forecast is sunny with some clouds later today. I'll be able to do some washing. <laughs> this is a, I'm picking up a lot of information. I, I can't get rid of it. I have no mouse on screen. Oh no. Oh, thank god. Oh, now I have two mice. Okay, I'm fine. Oh, that's the scariest thing that's happened so far. I don't think I want to touch it. Why not? Defend yourself. Okay, I need a key, everybody. Ugh. You would think with all that money, she would buy a new couch. Wow. I don't know, Let's Karen. Open a door. Maybe she spent all of her money on wine to kill herself. You don't know. Mr. Crow, I got it. I'm heading in through the door. Or not, because it opens this one. What am I talking about? Gotcha. <laughs> gotcha! Take that, money! It's just a big game of hide and seek. Teleporty time! Here we go again! I... I'm going to puke. Quick, find the toilet! Oh, God! Dear God, more dead bodies? Um... Teleported again. This time I am not feeling so well. Would you say you're not feeling so fine? Strangely enough, I don't feel hungry or thirsty. I have no wish to use the toilet either. That's good to know. I mean, after I have a meal, I usually don't feel hungry, thirsty, or have to use the toilet either. Hi! Okay, you're not gonna talk to me this time. Good. A healthy man. Oh, healthy damn it! Decree. Live healthy was his basic decree. Ben had another secret passion. Collecting cars was out of fashion. He wasn't alone loving his toy cars. Sarah's toy car lanes left many scars. She would always forget to pick up, giving Ben a reason to blow up. You can't rhyme up with up. That's lazy. Last night he was taking a warm bath. The last time he would explode with wrath. Can you please find his favorite toy car? You will find a soul on your radar. Ooh, I like that one. That one was good. Ben's favorite toy car. Got it. Wasn't there a toy car like right next to him? Find Ben's toy car. Really? A grown man and woman playing with toy cars? Karen? I know your name's Ellie, but I'm just gonna keep calling you Karen for the sake of my own headcanon, alright? It... They, they can be into whatever they want to be! Okay? Who are you to judge? I wonder if you have anything inside of you. Oh no, it's a clock! There's clock Nothing. stuff inside of you! What were you expecting, Karen, really? Ooh, butter knife. I don't like knives. What? Everyone likes knives. They're great. They're good for stabbing things. I wonder if I should even read it. Maybe... Well, let me see. Let me see. The longer I stay here, the better I get to know the people. The tenants were friendly at first, but they are starting to show a different side. John Tennant, father of David, number five, wasn't born under a lucky star. When I tried to dissuade him from a bad investment, I was ignored. Sally Tennant, number six, her place is the smell of a distillery. Are these these people? She drank a lot. I hate looking under strange beds. <laughs> you, you look under strange beds a lot there? All right. He's dead. How did you know that that was his favorite toy car? It could have been any of these. Plus, that was a bus, not a car. Shut up, Crowley. <laughs> okay. Sick. I feel better. Good. Get it out of you. Better out than in, I always say. Oh, it's again. you again. Why am I not surprised? Uh, fine, so Okay, how embarrassing. I threw up, but strangely free. I feel a lot better. Also more optimistic that I will get out there and away- get out of here and away from the crow. Dear diary, today I woke up and I puked. I feel liberated. I feel like I can do anything today. 
What is it this time? Oh lord! Somebody killed- Thor killed him! I know Mjolnir whenever I see it. Obviously the latter was the tool, killing her and leaving a blood pool. She loved to play piano at night. Her fake Van Gogh's a beautiful sight. Uh, it's actually pronounced Van Gogh. It- it really actually is. Um... Cause Evelyn is Dutch and she told me how to pronounce it. Cause I've always wondered, everyone says Van Gogh or Van Gogh, but apparently it's Van Gogh. That's how they pronounce their G's. I know, very good her language. Anna lent her ladder to Ben last. And when she got it back, she sighed aghast. He didn't look after her ladder. Mm, she's a lady and showed no anger. Ooh, I like that one. Ladder and anger? We're really busting out some real rhyme, some real M&M bars right now. It shows you, no matter how wealthy, death is king, and we will bend the knee. The piano might be your first clue, or maybe it is the horse statue. Clue, statue, that's good. Wealthy, a knee? I didn't feel that line. What must I search for? The piano or the horse statue must have a clue. Got it. Just search around and click on whatever it allows you to click. Uh, the crow didn't specifically give me an object to find. I need to search the piano or horse for a clue. Okay. Now what can be hiding behind these doors? <gasps> ah, God, it's Nothing. empty shelves. I'm so scared. Feeling okay there, buddy? How's your sex life? Not so good, I would say. Nothing. Then it must be the piano. Why do you have a giant horse's head in your fucking house? A music sheet. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder how dead you are! See, I can do the rhyming thing as well. Ooh! Another journal. Somebody must love writing. <laughs> Says the person who journals absolutely everything as soon as I enter each of the rooms. Tired, tripping over Ben's car- oh, Maybe that's what it is! Maybe everyone else journals their stuff along the way and I'm doing it now and then at the end I'll die and I leave behind my journal and everyone has to read that and make their own journal! <gasps> Full circle! Try tired tripping over Ben's cars. Tired telling him to put them away. But he keeps arguing that Sarah is the one putting them in the corridors. Anna is such a silly woman. She won't believe anything. Ben told her about a ghost living on the roof and now she keeps nagging me to keep the roof doors locked. I'm with Sally. I would not fuck around with- uh, her name's Anna? Cool. Um, I would not fuck around with roof ghosts. You really don't want to piss those guys off. They're way worse than corridor ghosts. I ignore her most of the time because I enjoy visiting Aunt Sally's pot plants and looking out over the view. I'm getting high as a motherfucker. Which was odd today. A lot of crows gathered on the street lamps. They seem somehow menacing. Always the sign of death, I wonder. Did they talk to you? Because they always talk this to me. This is a beautiful music box. Play Twinkle Twinkle. <laughs> Little star, how I wonder what you are. But the world so high. Do we have to listen to the whole fucking song? <laughs> wow! Play it again, mm. but don't. Wait, are you fucking serious? It didn't even do anything? Keep it away from me. Keep it away? Ew, gross. A knife? No thank you, I'll stick to forks. Maybe it's in the toilet. I can't even actually walk into the room. Oh! I'm stumped on this one here, boys. Oh! Gotcha. There's a specific part of it that I have to look for. I'm sorry, E. You know how competitive Beth is. I do! Beth and her damn muffin making. Oh. Okay, now I can move. Okay. Time to puke! Are you getting used to it yet? Woohoo, I didn't throw up. Yay! There you go. Good job. Wow. So, Dr. Watson, what do we have here? <laughs> Wow, making light of dead people? What the fuck is wrong with you? 
She got really accustomed to that way too quickly. I feel elated and in good spirits. Don't know why. Just a feeling that my trials are nearly ending. It's probably because you're running out of pages in your book. Um, that and you probably killed all these people and now you're delighted about it. Was really Ill. All right, Crowley. Martha was always a fragile person. She had a strong will and liked to win. She right. loved to read any kind of book, but never ever ask her to cook. Person and win don't rhyme. Anna brought dinner for Beth last night, taking a huge bite, a throat cut tight. Tight. Every body part started to swell, she couldn't get a word out to yell. Allergies can be so dangerous, it can leave you totally breathless. Beth's favorite was an adventure. Follow the clues and find the answer. Dangerous, breathless, adventure, answer? This adventure. Is some... Hmm. Her favorite thing to do is read. Maybe I am after a book? Got it. This is just training me to be the world's best detective. Also, some really smart rhyming going on here. Find Beth's favorite adventure book. Thank you for the journal entry. Ah, oh, this time it's a fork. I told you. Beth, I told I told you. She's so unreactive. Yes, I need to read it. The last journal left me on a cliffhanger. <laughs> You're a fucking weirdo. Repairs are on course. I saw Anna offering Beth some nuts, which she loudly refused. Fuck your nuts! <laughs> on a side note, had to help Anna drag her ladder to Ben's apartment. What a lazy man that he can't help us. Oh man, are these all like working in reverse order? That's kind of cool. I'm being side-eyed by Beth. I'm hearing my name being mentioned between the tenants, yet each time I turn around, they all have something else to do. Tonight, I'm calling a meeting to the rooftop where we can talk this out among the ghosts. Nothing in the pot. Who are you to wave your finger? You must have been out your head. That's the pot by uh, heavy metal band Tool. Wow, so many books. Too many books. Too many books. Okay, can I not go inside? Me out. All right. So what I was looking for was not a book. Then, Karen, you're a fucking liar. It's probably in here. I can't click it. Uh. All right. We can figure this out. Last time it was a tiny, obscure little detail somewhere as well. I'm sure this is like playing a hidden object game. Woo! Gotcha. Never mind. Bookity book! Alright, how many more of these do I have to do, Crowley? Is this the end? This must have been how the Star Trek crew felt. Beam me up, Scotty! She's getting way too used to this, way too fast. Hi. You do know I'm getting tired of this. Seeing dead bodies and searching for their souls. When can I go home? So... Where's the body? Am I the body? Am I the next one? Ooh, the crow isn't speaking to me. Don't know why. I have done all he asked. We'll look around and see if I can find the next soul. Why? Who? When? Where? <laughs> evil! You know, instead of who, what, when, where, and why, we have why, who, when, where, evil! I'm gonna answer from now on. Who did it and why? Evil! Okay. No rhymes for me this time there, Crowley? <laughs> oh, Ellie, my dear, you naughty girl. Am I the killer? I knew it wasn't for the murderous thrill. You gave Jean the old paint tins with lead. Poisonous gas made sure he was dead. There it is. You knew Sarah bought some wine bottles Poison it. Make sure she crumbles. <laughs> Hell yeah. The next one, not so easy to plan. A red toy car brought down a whole man. He slipped on it and broke his head. You borrowed Anna's ladder from John. The next person on it would be gone. The ladder leg broke. You're so dastardly. 
Lastly, but not forgotten, poor Beth. You made sure that dinner met her death. Oh my god, so dastardly. What will be the motive for all this? Your eviction case will be dismissed. Wow! You wanted to sell this old building, but the tenants fought you for this thing. You came up with this brilliant plan. The execution made me a fan. <laughs> the scene will end with this final call. Oh god, it was me. I killed them all. Dun, dun, dun! Tune in next week. Where is the body? This is the last one, which you will see. It's me. I'm the last body. They got you just before you got them. Repent before your souls get condemned. Purgatory at last is over. Let go of the past and the anger. Yeah, don't look back in anger. I heard you say. Damn. A loving memory of my mom. Oh, that's really sweet. I'm sorry you lost your mom. Oh man, you know what? I was kind of making fun of it at the start, but that was really fun. <laughs> I like that a lot. It started to turn into like a little murder mystery. I want a whole game like this. I want a whole game of all these. Thank you to everyone who believed in me, advice, helped, and encouraged me. Hope you enjoyed the game. Aw, yay! Look at you out there creating! Good for you! You created something a little fun. I like it. Fuck yeah! I am so on board with everything that happened! In the end, it turns out that I, all along, was the killer man. My inner demon. It was me! I'm the one who did it! Never saw that coming. Except I did, I called it like really early on. But still, I had a blast playing that. That was delightful. I hope that you all realize that these things can happen. You can go through someone's house, but if you start enjoying all the dead bodies, it probably means that you're the murderer. If you start reveling in everybody else being dead, looking for the dead body, looking for the crazy thing, then you're probably to blame. Take that to bed with you. It sounds a lot like murder. <laughs>